is Maria Rodriguez, but most people call me Ria. I'm the Student Success Coordinator for the Chancellor's Associates Scholars Program. Today marks a special day as we will experience something new together, connecting and engaging in an online environment. Over the past several months, our team has worked countless hours over Zoom to put, to put together this program with the intentions of creating virtual spaces for y'all to build community between peers and bridge connections with staff to help navigate this next chapter in your life at UC San Diego. While this is not how many of you imagined your first year of your undergraduate journey to look like, don't let that discourage the hopes and goals you have for the upcoming year. We as a community, and as a family, because yes, we're a family now, and as families, you are stuck with us, and we mean that in the most caring way, we'll do our best to support you in the many transitions you'll experience. Over the next few days, you will have opportunities to meet some really awesome people, so I encourage you to ask questions, make connections, but most importantly, we hope you have a fun experience Zooming with us this week. And with that, I will go ahead and turn it over to Jason Avalos. Thank you, Ria. Uh, my name is Jason Avalos, and I will be going over the community guidelines for our uh, Zoom uh, community. Uh, this session is going to be recorded and will be published. If you have any concerns, please contact CASP at gcsd.edu. Uh, we don't make video uh, required, it's optional, but we highly encourage all of you to turn on your camera so you can have a better experience as a participant in our program. Attention is not optional. Please be respectful and attentive to presenters, group leaders, and staff members. Stay on mute if you're not talking, and please feel free to use the chat for questions or clarifications. Do not send direct messages to other people uh, in, the, in the meeting. Please do not share any of the links that we have in our CAS 101 website with non-CAS students. We'll, all the links will be available as well as the recordings uh, after CAS 101. And uh, we'll have fun. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next slide and Ria. Great, thank you. So we have a check-in question for everybody, and the check-in question is going to be the way that we can track attendance, since there's quite a few of us on this Zoom meeting, which is really exciting. Um, also love the fact that y'all, you know, are um, having your cameras on, which means that we can see you. Um, so we'll be using uh, the attendance reporting through the Zoom feature, but ultimately we want you to recognize the value of being here and being connected. Um, um, because we know that um, while it's a valuable experience, not all students necessarily have an experience like this. So we really hope that you take advantage of this opportunity and our time together. So the check-in question is, do you consider yourself an introvert, an extrovert, or a little of both? And you can go ahead and drop your response in the chat. Seeing lots of good responses, little of both, same here. And feel free to continue dropping in your responses to the chat, even if um, we continue on with the program. Thank you, Ria. Uh, we're going to start with the introdu introduction so you get to know the staff members and the summer interns. Uh, we're going to start with the program director, Belinda Samacona. Hi everyone, we are so happy to see you. My name is Belinda Samacona. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I am originally from Acapulco. It's in Southwest Mexico. Um, I have been at the university for 11 and a half years and um, I was lucky enough to um, be with CASP um, since the beginning. 
Um, I am, uh, I attended San Diego State for both my undergrad and my master's, and I'm a third year doctoral candidate um, with the joint doctoral program with UC San Diego and CSU San Marcos. Um, a couple of fun facts, I believe I have a lot more than two, but the two that I'll share is that um, I visited seven volcanoes, not on purpose. Two of them are active. Um, and while I was an undergrad at San Diego State, so although I'm originally from Acapulco, I spent the majority of my adult life um, now in San Diego and my first year as a freshman, some friends and I thought um, we could try every single Chinese food restaurant. Um, I had a friend from Mexicali and if any of you are familiar with Mexicali, there's um, a huge Chinese population there. So she um, wanted to try every single Chinese food restaurant in San Diego County. When we realized we couldn't do the county, we narrowed in on National City. Um, it was fun. It was not healthy, um, but I don't, I have zero regrets. Uh, my advice to new students, um, so that would be you all, is to just let go of the goals that your um, that you thought you would have. I think, you know, we're all being challenged to think in new ways and um, and shape what um, our new reality is. Um, so I challenge you to let go of those goals and use CASP 101 and this experience and each other and the community that you have in CASP to figure out what those goals are and really lean on us to be able to, to help you achieve those during your time. So I'm really excited to see you all. Um, I, um, I included this picture because the next time we see each other, you'll probably see me with this face mask. So um, that you would have a better idea of what I'll look like with that. If any of you did not get your cast face mask, let us know and we can definitely send that over to you. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to be here and that you all are here and I'm excited for the year. Hello everyone. Good morning, buenos dias. My name is Kimberly Rodriguez Jimenez. My pronouns are they, them, theirs. I'm the office manager for the Chancellor's Associate Scholars Program. Uh, my hometown is Chula Vista, but I also lived in Tijuana for a part of my life, so kind of in between the border. Um, I am actually an alumni from UC San Diego, so I graduated in 2017 um, with a bachelor's in language studies, Spanish literature, and a double minor in business and international studies. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to work with CASP as a student staff member, and I obviously loved working here so much, and all the people that were there and working with students that I never left, and so they had to give me a job. Um, some two fun facts about myself. I have a food blog. I love to eat. Um, I love to eat a lot, um, and so I just always take pictures because I remember all the good food that I get to eat. And I also love to camp and backpack and just go out to national parks. I've had the um, fortunate opportunity last year to go to four different national parks. Um, this year I have not gone because we should be staying at home, which so glad that we all are. And we get to still see all of you all being safe and healthy. Um, and then my advice to new students is just letting you all know that UT San Diego is going to be a new chapter in your life and sometimes new things can be scary and the unknown may be a little intimidating, but you know, in the end, it's up to you how you want to live this experience. There is no right way to be a college student. There's no wrong way to be a college student. Whatever is going to make you happy and make sure that you are able to achieve all, if not most of your goals, um, just go for it and be able to um, just expand in this world. Um, live with no regrets. I don't like saying you only live once because <laughs> no, um, but live your life to the fullest. And um, other than that, you know, I'm so excited to get to get to know a little bit of all of you all here and hopefully we get to connect a little more and in the future when it's safer, get to see each other physically as well. But thank you all so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you all throughout the program. Hey everybody again. Uh, so my name, Maria Rodriguez, uh, but please feel free to call me Ria. Um, as mentioned before, I'm the student success coordinator for our program. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, hers. My hometown is um, El Cajon. So if anybody is from the San Diego East County area, whoop, whoop. 
Um, I went to little old UC Merced and I received my bachelor my bachelor's in political science uh, thinking that I was going to go to law school uh, and realized that was not a career path for me um, which really confused me for quite some time and ultimately I ended up uh, pursuing my master's in higher education from San Diego State University. Uh, fun fact as well that both Belinda and I have our master's from the same program. Uh, and then a little bit about myself. So I'm really into staying active, uh, like physically active. Um, I love CrossFit, even though sometimes I wonder and question what I'm doing when the workouts are really hard. Um, and then I also love tacos. Like that is probably my favorite food. And every year my mom makes my favorite tacos, which are tacos dorados on my birthday. So uh, I very much look forward to that day because it means that I'll get to spend time with my family and eat my favorite food. Uh, my advice is, so I have a quote that's a little more ambiguous. Um, from Rupi Kaur, who is a poet. Uh, it's pretty much says, you know, if you're born with the weakness to fall, you're born with the strength to rise. Uh, how I like to interpret pretty much this quote as it relates to your transition is the, the skills and the work, you know, that um, got you through, whether it be high school, whether it be a previous community college or another institution that you were in, you know, are still going to be those skills that will continue um, to allow you to flourish and to succeed at UCSD. Um, but you also now have a community and a family that can support you throughout that process. But uh, I'm really into poets and so just wanted to share and drop some of that wisdom with y'all. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Karen Van Ness. Um, I'm the academic support coordinator um, here at CAS. We've been with CAS since 2015. Um, I've been at UCSD for about 25 years, maybe. Um, my pronouns, she, her, hers, or they, them, theirs. Uh, my hometown is in Richardson, Texas, which is North Dallas, Texas. I um, have my bachelor's from Brown in English literature, my master's from UCSD, um, literature is in English. I thought I was going to be a literature professor, but then I realized I like my students more than I like poetry. So now I'm finishing up my doctoral in um, education studies. Um, two fun facts. I used to be a radio DJ in college back in the 90s. Played a lot of grunge and alternative music um, and wore a lot of plaid. Um, and this is the first year in like over 20 years that I didn't physically go to Comic-Con, so it was like a tear but we couldn't do it. Um, my advice to new students, UCSD is very, very big um, and can feel impersonal, but the good thing about a place that's big means there's a lot of folks and there's a lot of different spaces there. So there is a space for you here. It just may mean you have to look a little harder um, for it, but you will find your place eventually. And certainly all of us here at CAST are um, more than happy to help you. Um, and I'll pass it on to Yvonne. Good morning. My name is Yvonne Borrego. My pronouns are she, her, hers. The two interesting facts that I'd like to share is this is my 36th fall quarter opening. So um, I like to say I have a PhD in financial aid uh, based on all the years that I've been, been here and actually in financial aid at UC San Diego. Um, one of my other I like to share is as young as I am, I'm a great, great aunt, which I think is really exciting. My advice to students is we know how important our department, the financial aid office, plays in your lives. So do know that we're there to serve you. There is no such thing as a stupid question. Financial aid can be a little intimidating. And again, we know the role that we play that without financial aid, many of you would not be able to attend. So my advice to you is do not let um, anything keep you from stopping by our office, either you know, the virtual counseling or when we're all, we all get back together again. Good luck to all of you. And I'm ex so excited um, to welcome you and welcome to the program. Good morning. I'm so happy to see all of you guys. Congratulations and welcome to UC San Diego and to the CAST program. My name is Michelle Ojeda 
I am your direct link to the Financial Aid and Scholarships Office, along with Yvonne. And so if you have any questions or need any help at all, you can always reach out to me. Um, I'm available via email. My pronouns are she, her, hers. And I've been at UC San Diego for, it'll be five years. Um, and so I'm excited to welcome you guys. Uh, my uh, couple fun facts about me is I love to bake and I love to take baked items to the CASP office. So look forward to that when we're back on campus. Uh, I don't want to keep them in my house because I'll eat them and I don't want to do that. So I bring them to all of you. I also love dogs. I have a boxer who I love to take for walks every day, but any dogs, Kimberly has a new doggy. And so I got to meet that doggy, but I love dogs. Um, some advice for you is be involved. Um, come out of your comfort zones when you're on campus. As someone mentioned, there's a space for everyone. And there's a way to get involved on campus, uh, but you got to let down your guard. You got to, you know, meet people, listen to different perspectives. This is your opportunity to become the person that you're going to become. And so I'm excited to meet all of you. I'm excited to talk with you. And I'm especially excited to meet all of you in person once we're back on campus. So welcome to UC San Diego and have a great CASP 101. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody, um, my name is Pichia Vu and my pronouns are she, her, hers. I am the undergraduate housing accounts manager and your personal on-campus housing resource uh, during your time here with us at UCSD. Um, two interesting facts about me is that I am an alumni of UCSD. I'm a first generation college student and I graduated in 2007 with my bachelor's in applied math. Uh, I also minored in English literature from Marshall College. Woohoo! Um, so I've been with UCSD for about 19 years now. Long time. <laughs> Uh, the second interesting fact about me is I love comics. Uh, like Karen, I too was so sad that I didn't get to go to Comic-Con this year. Uh, my favorite characters are Spider-Man and Incredible Hulk. I'm also a huge Transformers fan. Woohoo, Optimus Prime. <laughs> uh, my advice to students, uh, I'll echo what a lot of the other uh, staff members said, is uh, just don't be afraid to ask for help. There's so many of us that are here for you. Uh, and even if you don't know who to uh, send your question to, send it to one of us, any one of us. Uh, we all work so closely with each other, so we'll know exactly who to forward the email to. So um, we all really want you to succeed. Uh, so please don't be afraid to reach out to any one of us, okay? I'm looking so forward to working with all of you this year. Hi everyone, so I'm not Dr. Lillian Salcedo, but she's having internet issues. So once she logs on, we will come back to the slide. Dal, you should be able to, to speak now. And um, for Jason, Dr. Salcedo is on, so she can go after Dal. Good morning and greetings, everyone. Uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, my name is Dr. Dal Dean. I um, am an EDS lecturer. Um, I teach EDS 50, 150, and several other classes. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, his. And there's two interesting facts about me. Um, I love swimming. Um, and in addition to that, I learned to swim while I was in graduate school. So, you know, it's never, it's never too late to pick up a new habit, pick up a new hobby, a new interest, etc. The other piece is I lived on a ship for three months. So I'm not sure if you are familiar with the Semester at Sea program. Well, I, was, um, I worked for that program as a hall director and had an opportunity to visit 14 countries. So I challenge you all to think about studying abroad um, or even studying away if that's, a, if that's an option. Uh, once you know, it's safe to travel and um, we can do those, those sort of things. Uh, my advice to all new students, uh, I always like to say that college is a marathon and not a sprint. You know, um, I think when you're in 
the mix of college and you're you're going through everything you in this i'll speak directly from my experience it's easy to have tunnel vision and only focus on what's ahead of you you know and in doing that you know it's easy to get discouraged but you also you also forget all the obstacles and hills you've already you know you've already climbed so i challenge you all to really enjoy this experience uh, uh Take your time, uh, reach out, connect with other with others, and reach out to me if you um, if you ever get a chance to. Thank you, and that's all I have. Good morning. I'm Dr. Lillian Salcedo, and I am a clinical psychologist here on campus with Counseling and Psychological Services. Um, my pronouns are she, her, hers. Some inter interesting tidbits about me: I was born in Mexico City and came to the US as a childhood arrival. I've lived in California all my life. Um, I also really enjoy monarch butterflies. I think that they're beautiful and they're very symbolic for me. They have a lot of meaning. So every summer I release them um, and it's a beautiful and really enjoyable experience for me. Um, my advice to all of you um, is to take really good care of yourselves during the time that you're working towards your professional and career goals, but academic goals as well. I think that all of us have a tendency at times to get so busy to forget to take good care of ourselves or we give up sleep because we have so much to do or we start skipping meals or eating late because the demands start to pile up. Um, and we really want to be proactive instead of reactive about our stress management and self-care. So um, that's my advice to you. Do your best to kind of stay on a structured sleep routine and a structured meal routine, even when things can get a little bit busier for you. That's all I have. Hi everyone, my name is Jason Avalos, uh, pronouns he, him, his. I'm the CAS 101 program assistant. I'm a recent grad. Um, my major was mathematics computer science. I'm a transfer student from Southwestern College and my college here at UCSD was Rebel. Uh, my hometown is Tijuana, Mexico and two interesting facts about me is that I am known for talking a lot and also I can dance cumbia all, all night long. Hello everyone, um, my name is Katie Galindo Espitia. Um, this year I'm a CAS 101 lead intern. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I recently graduated as well this last spring quarter. Um, I majored in human developmental sciences. My college is Marshall and my hometown is Lake Elsinore here in Riverside County. Um, two fun facts about myself is that I got to study abroad physics in Glasgow. And then I also love roller coasters. I, I love like the higher it is, the better it is for me. Hi everyone, my name is Brianna Durazo. I usually go by Brie. Um, this year I'm the CAS 101 lead intern. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm an incoming third year. I am double majoring in political science and education studies and my college is Marshall. My hometown is San Isidro, and two fun facts are that I have four tattoos and I have watched Grey's Anatomy um, in its entirety five times. Hi everyone, my name is C. Hernandez. I'm one of the summer interns for CASP 101. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm an incoming fourth year. I'm a transfer student. I transfer from Southwestern. Uh, my major is sociology, a concentration in social inequalities. Uh, my college is Revelle. My hometown is San Diego. And two fun facts about myself is that I was born at the UCSD hospital. So yes, I'm a UCSD baby. And my favorite food is ceviche. And basically all seafood is my favorite food. Hi, I'm Angela and I'm one of the summer interns. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. I'm an incoming second year. My major is biochemistry slash chemistry. Um, my college is ERC. My hometown is Los Angeles, California. Um, two fun facts about me is that I love going to Mexico and also watching anime. <laughs> 
Hi y'all, my name's Brenna. I am one of the other um, summer interns. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, hers. I am an incoming third year in New York College and I'm majoring in psychology with a specialization in human health and a minoring in general biology. Um, I'm from Oceanside, California, which is very North County, San Diego, if you don't know. And uh, two fun facts about me. I am half Navajo and the incoming um, Native American Student Alliance Vice Chair, and I have a black belt in karate. Hello, folks. My name is Jay Wilson. I am one of the CAS 101 summer interns as well. My pronouns are he, him, his. I am an incoming third year. I'm majoring in sociology. Muir is my college. Shout out to all my fellow Murons. My hometown is Temecula, California, i.e. represent. And some fun facts about me. I used to have a street named after me, and I grew up and live on Disney. Not literally, metaphorically, but that would be awesome if I did. Hi, everyone. My name is Lisa Roman. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm an incoming fourth year, um, double majoring in public health and real estate and development. My college is ERC. I'm originally from Guerrero, Mexico, but I've resided most of my life near San Diego. And two fun facts, I love hiking and camping. Hey, y'all. My name is Maria Batres. I'm a CAS 101 summer intern. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm an incoming fourth year. My major is communications, and I have I'm minoring in literature and writing. I'm from six, so you're my sixers. Um, my hometown is Southeast San Diego. <laughs> Two fun facts are when I was like three, I shaved off this eyebrow. It grew back, it's fine, you know, whatever. <laughs> and I write spoken word as well. Hi everyone, my name is Maria Vida. I'm also a CAS 101 summer intern. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm an incoming fourth year. My major is political science with a concentration in public law. And I'm also minoring in law and society. Uh, my college is Marshall and my hometown is Tijuana slash San Diego because I literally, I'm a border child. And two fun facts about myself is that I love to read autobiographies and my favorite color is yellow and I am gold decision. Hi everyone, my name is Mariana. I'm a CAS 101 summer intern. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm an incoming third year. My major is linguistics with a specialization in speech and language sciences. My minor is Spanish literature. Um, I'm also a Muron. Uh, my hometown is San Diego. I'm from City Heights. Um, two fun facts about me is that I'm, on, I'm an only child and yes, it's very lonely, but I like it a lot. Uh, my favorite color is blue because I love the beach. And as a little girl, I was told that I wasn't supposed to like blue, so it became my favorite color. Good morning, everyone. Just want to say thank you for being here. Uh, my name is Nathaniel Parada. I'm a CAS 101 summer intern. Pronouns he, him, his. I'm an incoming fourth year. My major is global health, minoring in biology. College is Eleanor Roosevelt College. Hometown, San Francisco. So I'm the only one not from San Diego area. Two facts about myself is I visited um, six countries last year and I really enjoy traveling to watch soccer games. My favorite soccer game was watching Barcelona play because they have the biggest stadium in Europe. And my second fact is I've been pescatarian for a couple months and I do miss eating tacos. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm so excited for this program. So excited for y'all. Um, I'm Victoria. I go by she, her, hers, and I'm an incoming second year. My major is economics um, with a focus in management science. My minor is accounting, and I'm an, also a fellow Muron, and my hometown is Chino Hills, which is San Bernardino County. So if you're from there, hello. <laughs> and my two fun facts is I love surfing, hence why UCSD is like a perfect fit for me. And I'm also a Native American from the Comanche tribe. Good morning, everyone. My name is Angela Kai, and I'm your CAS 101 summer intern. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and hers. Uh, I'm an incoming second year. Uh, I'm double major in political science uh, with a concentration in international relations. And also I'm majoring in international business. Uh, my college is Marshall College. Uh, my hometown is Los Angeles, California. 
Um, two fun facts about me is that um, I'm the oldest of five siblings. Um, I have lived in three different states, like from the East Coast to the West Coast, now in the center of the U.S. Hi everyone, my name is Yalila. I'm one of your summer interns and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Um, I'm an incoming fourth year. My major is human biology and I'm minoring in global health. I'm from co the College Ravel and my hometown is Palmdo, California. It's like an hour away from LA. And two fun facts is like I've watched Rebelde and Friends so many times. Like I could literally like recite certain like songs or like certain parts of the show. But yeah, I'm like really excited to meet you all. And even if it is virtually, I can't wait to speak to all of you. So that's your CASP team. Um, that's your community. And we wanted to start off the day um, and just the program and our time together on Zoom because we wanted to be intentional with our time together of just you knowing that CASP is a community. Rhea mentioned it. We're a family um, and just like, you know, chosen families and biological families. It's for better or worse. We hope that it will always be for the better, but there might be some times where, you know, you need a little nudge, but we want you to know that these are all the people that are going to help you um, regardless of physical barriers. CASP is a community. It's a family. It's a big deal too. So let's not sleep on the fact that it's the Chancellor's Associate Scholars Program. So the Chancellor is um, the um, the university. So in high school, you had a principal. Um, at UCSD, we have a Chancellor. And this is Chancellor Kosla's program. So it is a big deal. So we want you to know that you have um, a huge community rooting for you. Um, and aside from all the folks that you got to hear from today and Chancellor Kosla, we also have some other huge names that are rooting for you that know you're off to a great start. Um, and Jason is going to share a message from one of those individuals right now. Yo, what's up? This is your homeboy Ice Cube. Look, I want to give a shout out to the CAFS 2020 cohort students at UCSD. Hey, man, congratulations. You know, I understand y'all ended the first requirements. Y'all ready for the series, you know what I mean? Y'all ready to get down. Y'all ready to take it to the next level. So this is just a shout out, you know what I mean? Something to get y'all pumped up. Get ready to, like I said, take it to the next level. Because when you're doing this, whenever you soaring to the top, let's do that again. Whenever you soaring to the top, hey, it's levels to this. So you always got to be ready to step up to the next level. So you, you obviously did what you need to do on the first requirement. So now, hey, I guess it's the next requirement. And then it's the requirement after that because the team up at CASP obviously know you can do it. You know, so we want to thank them for putting this together, having your homeboy Ice Cube come in, pump y'all up, get y'all ready to go, knock it out, do big things, you know what I mean? 2020 been a crazy year, but it's still, you know, we still got time to make it a good year. So, yo, CASP 2020 cohort students, U, uh, UCSD, do your thing from your homeboy Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. All right. I don't know if y'all got pumped, but that definitely pumped me up. I also hope everybody is familiar with who Ice Cube is. Um, but that was a big surprise that we wanted to share with all of you. Uh, again, as that reminder that you got folks who are supporting you. So a couple of um, things. But before I get started, I just wanted to uh, really say a special thank you to all of our um, presenters today and our colleagues who made time to be here, um, who are present with us today, really to show you um, they, that they are there to answer questions that you may have and again just to support you. So really just wanted to shout out to our staff for that. Uh, so a couple of reminders before we um, log off uh, for this meeting is uh, we have the CAS 101 website which is pretty much an overview that will uh, provide you any and all information as it regards to our program. That's where we have all of the links um, that you will be uh, participating in for activities for the next couple of days. So please check that website often. Um, we have that included not only in the program schedule 
schedule that was sent to you, but in the emails that we have been sending to y'all as well. Um, as a reminder, at 11 a.m., you will be joining uh, group activities by the wonderful summer interns that you got to meet today. So um, if you were assigned a summer intern, they have already contacted you, emailed you, provided you that link. So that'll be uh, an intimate time for y'all to get to know one another. And I know that they've been working really hard at being able to put together um, activities. That's going to be fun for all of you. And then for tomorrow, we'll be going ahead and logging on at 10 a.m. The link is on that CAS 101 website. And then as a reminder, please wear your Fiat Lux t-shirt if you received one or were able to pick one up for our group buys. If you don't have one, that's all right. You know, please feel free to wear what you'd like um, because we will be taking a group photo. Uh, and once again, just thank you to all of you for being here, being present and staying engaged with us. You have no idea how excited we are. Um, to see y'all and then if you have any questions please feel free to drop them in the chat uh, we will be responding to those but other than that uh, we look forward to, to connecting with you tomorrow